Hey, Ben here, North Country Outdoor Guys. I got John behind the camera. We are going to hike up uh, our second mountain for the Tupper Lake Triad. This is Mount Arab. Uh, it's about one mile up. So we will check in with you along the way. And I'm going to grab the camera from John. This trip is sponsored by Under Armour. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's backpack. So yeah, <laughs> Under Armour, if you look at send us some free gear, uh, we're, all, we're all for it. <laughs> That's coincidence. <laughs> it's not on purpose. So this is supposed to be pretty steep. So I'll keep this rolling for just a little bit. We're following the red trail markers. There are a ton of people here. Uh, so this could be loud and I don't know how much I'm going to want to film because people irritate me so all right we'll check in later hey John just signed himself in uh, here is the trail register not very far up the trail there's a lot of information here. there's pamphlets you can pick up for uh, fire restoration pro fire tower restoration project there is a fire tower on top of Mount Arab um, which I'm not touching unless there's very few people on it <laughs> yeah because that's probably a good point yeah um, not required for the chart for the triad to uh, I don't think to ascend the tower there's also in the Adirondacks and Catskills a fire tower challenge and you have to do like 23 fire tower mountains and then all five in the Catskills. And so this is actually one, so we'll be checking off one. So uh, here we go. It's a little chilly, what about 50 something? 56. Yeah, so yeah, here we go. All right, five. I don't know if that's halfway, what that is, but that's a five there. We're going there. It's been pretty much uphill the whole way. We came from there. John sacrificed his favorite hiking stick. Yep. Been up five mountains with him, and now he's deceased. We had a little ceremony for it. <laughs> Buried in the woods. So we're, it is 11.45. Didn't keep track of what time we started. Uh, so maybe this is halfway. A lot of people coming down, so hopefully there'll be nobody at the top. So this got steep real fast. I don't know if you can tell up, up there at the top of the frame. Somebody's coming. There's a set of stairs we're gonna have to climb okay so not quite stairs Oop, not quite a ladder like a yeah. ladder slash bridge. so we got a big large we're getting close to the top i think uh big large rock formation john's gonna head up the trail there for a little perspective i'll let the geology experts identify that Adirondack Rock. John's going, going deep into the bush there. And we're shooting right into the sun as always. So, yeah, John, how tall are you? 5'7? Five, About 5'11. 5'11, no. 5'7. Well, you're taller than me, so yeah. it's not hard to do, but. Yeah, we're still waiting for that delivery from Under Armour. Haven't got that yet. Nope. So, here we go. Go on up there. I'll film you walking. This is really kind of, I'm terribly out of shape. John's done more mountains than me and he's not even an outdoor guy. He's getting used to it, he's trying to become an outdoor guy. I'll, nom a, I'll bring him into the club. North Country Outdoor Guys, honorary member. <laughs> Looks like the trees are breaking up ahead there. So. Yep. That looks like the view, so. Yeah. yeah. GPS is saying 1.2 miles, but that's from the car and probably just a little wandering. So we will catch up to you later. Found this little, uh, looks like a little leg, a troll leg or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the man of the mountain. Yeah. The witch. It's a it leprechaun. Yeah, that's it. The King Brian. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're, let, we're at a Y here. That one looks easy. This one looks hard. We're going to. Take the left hand side, the harder path. John's on his way up. Well, not too bad. We're thinking this might be the top. Both both trails are marked with the red trail markers. So I'm thinking one might be the easier path for kids and old people like us, but we're gonna give this a haul. Alright, so we made it to the top. There is a cabin up here with an interpreter. There's a couple of Newfoundlands over there, I don't know if you can see them. And there's a lot of people up here. We should wait now. Uh, now we're gonna wait. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Yeah. Apparently, there's an outhouse up here somewhere. 
nice little cabin. Friendly uh, interpreter up here. He said he works up here. Comes up every day with the dogs. Toby and Apollo. Two Newfoundlands, beautiful dogs. So we're gonna wait a few minutes and we'll head up. I got a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna pull So there's the cabin from up top. I'm looking out the, uh, I don't know what side of the tower this is. I'm terrible at it. So we came up through that little hole. It's a solar panel up here. Probably a weather vane. Straight down. <laughs> did he do Pike Speak too? Oh, he did. No, so he, um, I did it five weeks and then he flew out for part of the trip. Okay. So he got to us uh, in Portland right after we actually got in a car accident there. Oh, jeez. That's a crazy five weeks. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we just did Glacier and Bad Oh, and, nice. Oh, my gosh. We did so many amazing parts. And we live in Ohio now. And we're like, oh, I'm from Buffalo. But no, we, we, we got lost coming here, so. Yeah, we're, in, we're from Malone, so. Okay. Yeah. Ohio, so. We're just, yeah. <laughs> no idea where ben Stiller just left town. They were filming. Uh, we had a this is the view from just under the tower. There's a little rocking outcropping you can go on. Where are you going to sleep? We're thinking about maybe doing Coney, which would complete the trilogy. We'll figure that out once we get down at the bottom. So it is 109 and we are heading back down. We just uh, chatted with Toby and Apollo and their owner. Nice man. He comes up every day. Spends a day up here with the dogs. Works for New York State. Uh, does interpretive. Yeah, that's an awesome job, man. I love that. And we found out that the water tower, or the fire tower is about 60 feet actually. There you go, good, yeah, good fact. Feet. Each each layer was 10 feet roughly. He said that's about the standard size of a fire tower. It was a little dicey at the top. Yeah. The wind was blowing pretty good and getting in and out of the hole at the top was tricky. And there's a trap door that if you grab hold of it, it moves. So the girl found out that was up there with us. The guys the yeah. <laughs> so yeah, be careful. It's it's doable. I don't like uh, stairs that you can see through and whatnot. And you can see through the backs of these, but I did it and John did it. We're up there for, you know, we're up there for a while because it wasn't too bad. The view was fantastic. So we're heading back down. We're gonna see how we feel at the bottom, and if we're up to it, we'll do Coney and then send away for our patches. So we made it. It is 1:49. We got down. It took us about 40 minutes to come down. We weren't rushing it or anything. Uh, we are going to rest a little bit and get a little snack, and then we're gonna head over to Coney to see what how that goes and complete this thing. Um, that's about a mile or 1.1 miles, I think. Uh, the little some little bugs around here. They're crazy. Really but, bad. Yeah, we did it and. Uh, wasn't uh, the view was fantastic up there highly recommend it um, if I'm not good with heights like I said but you know if you put your mind to it you can get out there and you can do it all right guys so we are here at the Coney Mountain Trailhead um, about 15 miles or so from Arab we are it is 235 we're gonna give this a shot it's 1.1 miles they say out of shape hiker which I definitely qualify as uh, would count as a one hour up so we'll see how well we do. Hope we got the legs for it. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's the way we came from. Um, a lot less steep than Arab, but uh, very rocky. So I have to step on a lot of rocks, go over a lot of rocks. John is up ahead going up the trail. People coming. So we're about 20 minutes in. So we're going to keep on heading. Okay, almost, all right, almost to the summit. Got real steep. You're walking on rock at the last a little bit. Johnny's almost, almost there. I'm a little winded. It is 321. Here we go. Here we go, about 325. We made it to the summit of Mount Comey. I'm gonna do a 360. The sun's gonna be in the way at the end. There's Tupper Lake. Might be tougher, I'm not sure. Might be tougher? Yeah. It, 
It could be. That could be tougher over there. I'm terrible with. So this is this is a rare. Yeah, I mean you got a 360 view here. On, uh, I believe that's a little tougher in Round Lake over there. And over through the trees, I believe that's Tupper Lake over there. Um, I could be wrong. But I mean you have got amazing views here for a little effort. This is number three. Number <laughs> number three. Uh, we have now officially completed all the Tupper Lake Triad, so we can submit our paperwork for the patch. There's your assurance that no matter how far of a walk that is, you're never you fine with the road. Yeah, right? right. You just go straight down. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Tupper Lake right there, I believe. Okay. And we got the main road going here. Uh. 30, I think. Yeah, there's some crazy, crazy views here. Crazy, crazy views. Okay, 3.59, and we are headed back down the mountain. So this got a little dicey at the end because it didn't appear to be marked anywhere. And we were kind of bushwhacking a little bit. And it didn't look like we missed the trail anywhere. So we are heading down. There's, there's quite a large area up here to hang out on, have lunch or whatever. So we'll see if going down we find a different part of the trail. But it was uh, there wasn't really any other way to go. But there was a you know there was a good 20 foot section that was iffy. Try to stay on the rocks as much as you can because of the fragile alpine. Uh, nice. Uh, there's some sort of rumor going around on Facebook about bended trees. Really? Yeah, I forget what it is. I don't know, it's an indicator or something. Interesting. I love that kind of so down in the valley. I mean, the view of the, I mean, this is the best view, I think. Yeah. Well, you know, once you pointed out about the 360 deal, I, I was kind of, you know, it made sense. Yeah. I guess I was just infused well, you, by the water, by the uh, fire yeah. tower. Well, the fire tower, you had a 360, kind of, because you can only look out, like, three sides of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. All right, so it is 441. We have finished the Tupper Lake Triad with the completion of Mount Comey. Excellent views, 360-degree views up there. We are pooped. We're going to go into either Placid or Tupper Lake and find somewhere to eat. So thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time. Okay, so we made it to Placid. I don't know what time it is. I'm about to put my watch off. Uh, we're going to go eat at Lisa G's right here by the dam in Lake Placid. Um, I have not been there before. So it's right up there and it is packed. We got cars all the way down the road, but that's, that's good. And then there's a little view up the river. Alright, so here we go to Lisa G's.